Hey there, sign of cancer. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for likes, shares, and subscribes. Get right into your reading. Asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us. Ooh, connecting to your heart space for the sign of cancer. Cancer, what do we have? What do we got for cancer? That shuffled pretty good. And we'll cut it. This is the Osho Zen Tarot that I'm using. Ten of Cups on the bottom. We've hit the jackpot in emotional fulfillment here. There's a lot of play being indicated. Um, by the dolphins, also the sign Pisces, um, being really in tune with that heart space, having the heart space, and you see how it kind of connects, the dolphins kind of connect it to the mind, so that's connecting uh, heart and mind coherence there, it's that channel, it leads to, it, well, it, it is putting love first and then everything else just kind of falls into place. This is their rendition of the Ten of Swords, which they look at as rising from one form to completely changing forms. Like, so completely um, a rebirth in yourself, reinventing yourself, completely being just something new. The challenge is... Um, temperance, integrating it, getting things to, or people to get along, maybe issues with people getting along, I don't know, let's just go ahead, doing something by yourself, past, hmm, well that's good, Okay. All right. Well, it's not really bad. Not not bad. I'm especially with the um especially with your ten of cups like there with that um underlying issue. So there is something that has to change though for I feel like for this ten of cups energy for you. So we'll clarify and we'll find out what because it feels like something's missing, but of course we get in the message 1010 10 here too. So that's like divine timing, unfolding, 1010, 10, patience, having patience while something is turning out um, for your highest good. Move this over a little bit. So let's go ahead and get some clarifying cards. This is the Mystical Medley's Tarot. Ten of Swords is an issue. Um, you may be over something. You may have already gotten over something and feeling like we've reinvented ourselves, right? At least in our minds we have. And the issue is integrating it so that we don't get things um, repressed or that remain in the shadows, so to speak. Three of Pentacles and the reverse underlying um, this change has been all by yourself. It has been inside and out self change, self initiated change. Why can't we integrate it? Or what's the issue with balance and integration? Maybe something to do with the Pentacles um, and maybe decisions, uh, partnerships, decisions. Maybe regarding home business. I don't know. The finances are really great. She receives um, a lot. She's open to receiving a lot because she's got that divine yin receiving energy. The three of pentacle in reverse. What's that about? Making something fair and even. It might be about what you're investing. That could be the six plus the one is the seven of pentacles. 
So what you're investing, um, choices and their consequences. There's also the world here. So it feels like something new and you're taking with you the experiences you've learned from the past. With this world card, there's a completion. Then you get to live out kind of like how happy you are or however, whatever level you've advanced to, right? So that's Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. That could be Taurus too. So a brand new chapter is starting for you. Integrating it at home. Maybe it's even talking about like a home business balance and partnership balance, something like that. You're feeling open to opportunities and knowing that there's many more possibilities out there than just um, a few. I, I've noticed this eagle is freedom here, feeling like freedom. What is the two of wands about for Cancer? A strength in reverse. Something we might not be telling everyone. It has to do with our confidence. Can you get another card with that strength in reverse? Having needing to have more confidence will open up more possibilities. In some kind of injustice, the confidence needs to be up because you're seeing something that is what it is. You're seeing your truth and you're definitely letting go of any kind of addictions or vices that stop you. That was really what was affecting the self-esteem issue. And there are still injustices to heal. Um, but these are all really big events and they are going to also accompany change. It's a, a new beginning here, something brand new. And then this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So you will be slow but steady progress, um, but successful nonetheless. A successful new journey. The fear is being too stressed with the Seven of um, Wands up here. The fear is getting too stressed. Clarify the Seven of Wands for us. <laughs> Yeah, getting too stressed about work. And I'm saying not to stress about work too much because there's still something. Look at all the pentacles that Nine of Pentacles is bringing in. Just financial windfall, abundance. It might not be the, the work out the way that you thought, but it will work out better than what you thought. Look what's underneath the Ten of Cups. I don't know how that even came out. The source. That's your Ace of Pentacles. Um, not Pentacles. Ace of Wands. So what's not changing? What's not changing? What needs to change? There's a wish granted coming in. So stop being attached to the things that aren't working. And there's definitely something not working out with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It feels like a problem has been around for a while. But there's a new solution that's going to have a really good lasting effect. So what's not working? Maybe having to do with the King of Wands energy. Um, I have the Happy Squirrel and the Sad Squirrel, both. These I always look to as like a childlike energy. So you have the Happy and Sad. There's good. There's a little bad. There could be room for second chances. Uh, forgiveness. There's definitely 9-9 nine, nine, letting go of the past and changing for your Ten of Cups. And your Ace of Wands, passionate, new, successful beginnings. That's what I've got for you, Cancer. Let's pull um, an angel number message, too. That's too many for Cancer also. Okay, I have number nine. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service. I am compassionate. I'll do one more. One, I am innovative. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you reach through the rough times. Oh, get through the rough times, sorry, and reach success. I'm innovative. So I got sending you love and light.